Don't let nobody tell you what to do. That's the tip. Hey guys, so I'm doing a tag video. I actually like to do tag videos and I've gotten tagged before in the past and I always wanted to do them but then I forget because I don't write them down. Like if you do a tag video, I swear if you could like put that video in a Facebook message on my uh, Facebook page for the A1 Netty uh, Facebook page, that would be great because then I won't forget because I lose the tag videos. I don't even know. Anyway, so I'm doing this one from Freebie Ninja. Um, it's called Keeping It Real YouTube Tag Video. So apparently he read some kind of an article and, sorry, I just did my freebie video, got my junk there. Um, he read some kind of an article about YouTubers and something something, I don't know. There's like a big backstory there, but you can go ahead and watch his channel if you want to see what it is. Um, and he made up this tag and it has 22 questions. So I can tell you right now, a few of the questions don't really apply to me, but eh, let's get, you know, Let's go ahead and do it and see. And I'm supposed to keep it real. Then again, I never really like fib or anything. I'm just, you know, I might be plain and boring, but whatever. All right, so let's just start. So I have my phone here, so I have all the questions. And let's start here. Number one, what is the real reason you started YouTube? The reason I started YouTube, I actually had another channel and that channel is still up. It's called A1 Netty. This one is A1 Netty 2.0. Um, I started because I found YouTube because I was looking for something for hair videos and it was actually Nicole Guerrero. Is that how you say it? I don't know how you say her name. Anyway, she had some hair videos and I was like, oh cool. And then I got lost in YouTube and I started seeing all kinds of stuff. And then um, I got part of Buzz Agent and they sent me over, I don't even remember what it was. It might have been like might have been like a Burt's Bees something, some cleanser or something like that. It was like a lotion cleanser, something like that. Um, so because I got that, I was like, well, hey, I can just share my thoughts with everybody. And, um, you know, why not? I'm doing a blog. I might as well just do some YouTube videos and kind of share. I didn't really, honestly, I didn't really see people doing it at that time when I started because I was brand new to YouTube. So I didn't really know anything about that. Um, so I did it to share my reviews and thoughts on different things. And I thought, well, you know, maybe somebody will want to listen and maybe not. So that is actually the reason why I started, because I thought I can just share my opinion with others. So I was very naive to YouTube back then. I didn't even know that YouTube was so big. I had no idea. I really had no idea. Boy, have I learned. Number two. Which YouTuber do you dislike the most? I actually don't dislike any YouTubers because if I don't like to watch them, I just don't like to watch them, but I don't dislike anybody. Well, not really. Um, if you, I couldn't even think of any names, actually. Whatever. Um, if you could marry a YouTuber, who would it be? Nobody, really. I mean, the videos I watch, I watch beauty videos, which is a lot of women, only women. Um, I watch freebie videos. So, and the only freebie um, male I watch is Freebie Ninja. So, and we're just friends. So I couldn't say that. Um, I do watch um, Jenna Marbles' um, boyfriend and Julian. Um, he's very funny. So that's the only other guy I think I watch. Oh no, I watch those crazy videos where they say like, um, the 10 weirdest this or whatever. I watch those kind of videos too, but marry nobody. How would you feel when, how do you feel when you get thumbs down? Honestly, I don't really care. I'm kind of like a nonchalant kind of easygoing kind of girl and things don't bother me often. Not really. I don't get bothered easily. I just think, eh, oh well. When I get thumbs down, I, I kind of like, I want to do a thumbs up because I'm like, you're giving me credit for something you know, you might be putting a couple pennies in my pocket, but um, it doesn't bother me. You can give me a, a hundred thumbs down and I'd be okay with it because I'd be like, ah, they're giving me some action on my channel. Which are, which are you top, I think you spelled that wrong. Which are you top YouTubers you currently watch? You spelled that wrong. You have a typo. Which top YouTubers do you currently watch? I guess that's what it's supposed to mean. Um, that's number five, by the way. I watched Jenna Marbles. I love her. She's so funny. Um, 
top YouTubers. I would have to look at my um, my playlist. I watch a lot of people. When I get ready for the, in the morning, I watch a crap load of people. So anybody that's in my playlist at five o'clock in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, I watch those people. Um, but for sure, I never miss Jenna Marbles. And um, so let's see on my playlist. I see Graveyard Girl, um, Casey Holmes, Emily Noel. I have some people that I don't really watch anymore. Um, that, that Ayala, I don't know how that's how, whatever. Anyway, those are the few. Moving on. Number six, have you stolen an idea from another YouTuber? I don't think so. If I have, probably not intentional. I don't think I've stolen any ideas. Um, as far as when I started doing freebie videos, I, I don't even know if I was watching freebie videos before that or not. I don't think so. I don't remember. You know what? If you know me, you know my memory is really, really bad. So this is like a really bad tag for me because I can't remember squat. But as far as my little brain can tell me, I don't think so. Well, number seven, what is the most embarrassing thing you've edited out of a YouTube video before? I edit my videos a lot because I talk a lot. Um, I have edited out my kids coming in. I have edited out myself screaming at my kids. I have edited out me uh, probably picking my nose or I don't know. I guess embarrassing would be like picking my nose or maybe, oh, I know, like sometimes when I do like those um, those uh, try on clothing kind of things. Sometimes I have like mishaps or like I usually like turn off the camera, change, turn on the camera, record, turn off the camera, change. I usually do that and sometimes I don't. So those for sure get edited out. But um, probably like picking my nose or sneezing or finding something in my teeth or whatever. Um, number eight, if you could date a YouTuber, who would it be? Nobody. Uh, what number nine what is the weirdest message someone has sent you on YouTube a message probably that toe thing that people got they were getting it like a year ago some weird toe thing I don't know um, nothing else really okay number 10 what was the weirdest comment you ever received the only person I think I have ever blocked on my channel I don't even remember what her name was um, she had made a comment on one of my videos like you're Asian <laughs> something like that because oh she said you don't sound Asian I guess because I look Asian but I didn't sound Asian and I was like really and she had said something really foul I don't I don't remember what it was but it was something with a bad word in it and I just thought it was disrespectful and so I deleted her and that was it um, Number 11, have you made a close friend doing YouTube, who and why? Yes, I have, a lot. Freebie Ninja is very close to me. Um, Cauliflower Dawn is very close. Um, there's a bunch of others, like Cece, I talk to her from time to time. Um, who else do I talk to? I talk to a bunch of people. Um, uh, Marina, I talk to her. Michelle, recently. I have been starting to talk to her. Hiwi, is that how you say your name? Um, she doesn't do YouTube though. Uh, who else? There's actually a lot of people on social media that I talk to and I really don't like, oh, who could I, how could I forget Ambreen? How could I forget her? We've been, I mean, talking for a long, long time. If you could redo a video you've done before, which one and why? This is funny, Freebie Ninja mentioned to me about or had said something about videos on my old channel actually that they were moving because I used a video camera before right now I use a camera it's the Canon T5i um, and I like this one but honestly if you're gonna do YouTube's I would recommend a video camera that other one it kind of had like that shifting boat movement in there I don't know what that was about but um, he said that all of them moved like a boat so if I had to redo any, maybe one of those. I mean, my old first, first videos, they were bad. They were really bad. And I looked really bad. Like the quality was from my computer, like, um, what do you call that? Like the camera from the computer, back, back way when I first, first started was like that uh, webcam. Yeah, that was bad. 
Um, and that's on my previous channel, not on this channel. Would you let your children do YouTube? Um, I don't know. My nephews and my little brother, he, they all have like YouTube. They don't show their face on it. They do like um, game playing. Um, whatever it is where you just hear them talking and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't even think my kids are interested. Uh, 14. Which YouTuber could you see yourself sleeping with in a naughty way? Nobody. Number 15. Have you ever secretly thumbs down a friend's video? Funny story. And as for that, maybe yes. I'm not sure. No, I don't think so. But I can tell you I have thumbs down videos before. Back in the day, I thought thumbs down was like if it was bad, like the story, like whatever it is that they were talking about was bad or whatever, and and you were agreeing with them and you were like, yeah, that's really bad. I would click the thumbs down because I'm like, yeah, that's true. <laughs> because I didn't know. I had no idea. I thought thumbs down was like if they were talking about something bad and I was agreeing with them, but I didn't know that was like bad video. I didn't know if that's, that's what it meant. I did that a lot back in the day because I had no idea. Well, you live and you learn. Um, have you ever posted a video you regretted and took it down? If yes, why? Not really. I don't think I've ever taken down a video. No, not that I can think of. I mean, my videos are not that controversial ever anyway, so. Number 17, do you ever think you will quit doing YouTube or will you still be doing videos at an old age? People, I'm old already. I'm like probably one of the oldest YouTubers ever. <laughs> no, um, I have no idea. I mean, if people still watch me and they like me, then I'll, I'll continue to do it. If not, um, then I won't. I really don't know. I mean, who knows what, what life brings? Who knows what's going to happen in the future? Who knows, you know, maybe I'll have a job that just you know, requires me to be there all the time and I'll be exhausted. Um, I really don't know. I have no idea. But I do like to do YouTube. I have fun with it. And, you know, if I can and I could, I would. Who knows what the future brings. Number 18, if you could change or add something to YouTube, what would it be? I would say, I knew this answer and now because I didn't write it down, I can't remember it. What would you change? I would change the way that they make you, like the rules of YouTube suck. Like you can't put music in your videos. I mean, I understand, I get it, whatever, whatever. Number 19, everyone gets sucked in watching random videos at times. What is the weirdest video you ever caught yourself enjoying? Um, I, I don't know, because usually in the morning when I'm watching YouTube videos, um, I watch what's in my playlist. Like when one video is done, I just scroll down my playlist and just keep going that way. Um, I don't normally comment on videos because I'm getting ready for work, but um, that's how I watch my videos. Um, I guess I have gotten lost in videos because I do subscribe to um, like this one channel called The Richest where they have kind of like top 10 crazy things that happen all over the world, all kind of topics. Um, also there's another one called um, Matthew Santoro. Hey, there's a guy. Um, he has like always fun facts and there's a couple other channels and I got those weird channels because I did get lost in YouTube one time somewhere. Um, I guess that's it. Number 20. Have you ever had a crush on a YouTuber? If yes, who? No. Number 21. Have you ever made an enemy or lost a friend because of YouTube? If yes, why? Actually, yes. Um, this was, I don't, I think this is before when I had my old channel. There was a girl and we were friends on Facebook first or maybe she was watching my videos and we became friends and something like that happened. Anyway, there was um, a group of girls from, this is what my understanding is because she had unfriended me and I was like, hey, what happened? You know, what's up, what's up, what's up? Um, and she said, honestly, I don't even know what happened. From my understanding, I think it was that I wasn't tagging her in Facebook posts or something like that, or I was tagging others, or I changed, or something like that. But honestly, we all change. Life goes on. We all have 
our own personal things that are going on. I think at the time, Allison was like a baby. Um, you know, I go through motions that I'm on Facebook all the time, constantly, 24-7, and then I go through times that I'm not on Facebook at all. Um, and I, at that time back then, I was entering tons of Facebook contests constantly. And you would tag your friends so that it would bring up your clout score so that you can get more clout and get more clout perks. That was big back then. Um, and I stopped doing it just because, I don't know, I just stopped. So apparently something like that is what she had kind of explained to me um, that I changed or that, I, I don't know, something like that. So, and then um, she unfriended me again. And I think this time and maybe even the time before that, she had told a group of other girls that we were had in common to unfriend me as well, which they did. It was, I guess it was kind of like a you or me thing. Like she had unfriended a, a mutual friend who I am still friends with. Um, and I'm glad I'm still friends with her because she's one of my close friends here and that's Dawn. Um, she wanted me to unfriend her because of some something that had happened with her. And I'm just not that person. You can't give me an ultimatum and tell me, don't be that girl's friend because we had something out, whatever that out was, or that they talked not nice to each other or something like that. I mean, that happens to people all the time, but it has nothing to do with me. I ain't got nothing to do with that. So nobody's going to dictate to me who I can talk to, who I can't talk to. Um, I don't tolerate that. I'm a grown woman and this is social media. So I don't know you, you're not my neighbor, you're not my family, so you can't tell me who I can be friends with or not. Um, so I was like, I'm not gonna unfriend her. So she thought I was disrespecting her by not granting her wishes. Um, honestly, I don't really care. If that's the type of friend that you wanna be, then so be it, go ahead and go on your merry way because I don't need nobody telling me what to do. I got three kids, a dog, and another grown ass kid in this house. And sorry, I have enough of my own personal business to worry about than to think that somebody else on social media is gonna not be my friend anymore. There's plenty of other people out there. So I don't even know if she watches my videos anymore because if she does, she knows who I'm talking about. She'll know this story very well. Anyway, so the other girls, they also unfriended me for whatever the reason was. Um, that was my understanding of why they all unfriended me. Um, it was a group of girls and I was very shocked and I knew exactly what happened because she had tried that ultimatum with me with somebody else. Um, they recently, a couple of them have um, come back into my life and I'm thankful because, um, I don't know, they were very nice girls. I, I, I had nothing bad to say about any of them. I have nothing bad to say about hardly anybody on, on social media, but um, this is turning into a vlog. Let me stop. If you want to hear more about different things like that, you can tell me later. I'll do it. Let me finish up because I went on and on way too long about this. Um, don't let nobody tell you what to do. That's the tip. Uh, let me see. How many views do you think you need to consider yourself a successful YouTuber. Successful YouTuber. I mean, everybody thinks that you have to have not so much views, but subscribers. I mean, it's great to have tons and tons of subscribers, but it's great to have great to have, um, tons of views. I think, um, I don't know. That's really, really hard to say because I'm not a big YouTuber and I don't make a lot of money and all that good stuff. Successful, I think I'm successful because I found friends that I can communicate with. Um, and yeah, it would be great to make some big bucks. I wouldn't quit my job because I seriously doubt that I would make that kind of money anyway. But um, I don't know. I don't know, being successful, I, that's, that's just really hard to say. I really don't know that answer. All right, uh, let me see. Oh, that was it. That was the last question. All right, this is 21 minutes long. So I, I don't know, did I do bad? Did I do good? I'm not sure. If you have some other tag videos, I think you can link videos in the comment section. So if you've done this video, 
Um, link it in the comments. If there's other tag videos you'd like me to do, link it in the comments. I'm pretty sure you can do that. If not, just, you know, type it up and let me know. I would really like to do some more um, tag videos. So um, they're kind of easy to do and edit, I swear. My camera just moved on its own. That was creepy. Don't do that. All right, you guys, that's it. And I will see you again in another video. Bye.